Well, hey folks, it's your old pal, King Waspinator. Welcome back to Total Party Skills. It's the middle of the night. I actually made it and just watched the first episode of Season 3 of Star Trek Picard. What have I done? I actually kind of rather enjoyed it. It had its few clunky moments. I have a special guest star here with us, Mrs. Waspinator, whose father actually directed an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, so she has her own uh, unique perspective on the whole thing. Uh, what did you think? Hello. You have any th thoughts on uh, this uh, glorious... I mean, I, I, so I haven't watched the first two seasons. Mm -hmm. I watched a couple episodes that you showed me mm -hmm. a long time ago. Yeah. Um, for, for what it is so far, it was all right. So, you know, getting the, the band back together. There was some dumb old white guy stuff, I thought. They complained about how uncomfortable it is to be old a lot, which was like, you know, old white guy buddy movie. Yeah, jokey yeah, stuff that, Riggs and like, Murtaugh, we're too eh, old for this shit, yeah. You know, okay, I get it. Yeah. Um, there was some stuff I thought was a little bit too, uh, like, mean, kind of. In what way? Um, did little things, like in the beginning when the, she's trying to get the, the drug guy at the bar. Raffi? to give her the info yeah yeah um he's like pretty physically violent with her mm -hmm. and i didn't feel like that was really necessary like he could have just been he's a big intimidating dude yeah he's an orion he, he could he could have been intimidating he, he didn't need to literally flex on her yeah, yeah i felt like that was just i don't know it was kind of off-putting okay you know and then uh when Riker's fucking trying to rib the little la forge like, oh, didn't you crash the, oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. the shuttle crasher? Yeah, one of the characters on the Titan is Jordy LaForge's daughter. Like, you're just going to pick on this chick? Like, it, it it was a bit much. He took it a bit far. It's like, the, you know, this is embarrassing. There's no reason to do that. It's like an old white guy out, out of touch thing to do. Uh, speaking of, like, uh, like old white guy stereotypes in TV shows, uh, I guess there was, like, this little thing about... Oh, Deanna and our son will be quite happy that I'm away from the house for a while. It's like, are they pulling a Han Solo? Yeah. Oh, where, yeah. like, we find out all these years later that Han Solo yeah, and Leo broke so up great. immediately. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, is, is Riker's son going to grow up to commit great acts of evil? Is yeah. he actually going to be the villain of this season? Probably not. Uh, tonally, this was, like... I wouldn't say it is all... It, it wasn't one of the old Star Treks. It's its own thing. But my God, how? why couldn't they have been doing this from the get-go if Discovery had been more like this kind of tone? But at the same... Yeah, uh, for sure. Like, but at the same time, I did feel like they were trying... They're trying to get us to mainline member berries. They're, they're just... They're leaning so hard into nostalgia that they're going to fall over onto themselves. <laughs> you know, like, dude... You're, oh my God! You're really trying to squeeze every last drop out of member. You, you member guys, don't you? It's so nice, the good days, member. Like, yeah, we do. It's not quite the same though. Like we're, you know, talking about seven. Yeah. Like it's it's di this is not that. Yeah. But but you guys remember the good times, uh, down to the way things look. That like you were saying doesn't make sense for it to look like that, but. <sighs> Uh, so getting, I guess, a little bit into spoiler territory, uh, the, the Titan is the ship that they get on to go on their little mission, right? Uh, you know, Riker's former ship. Except for some reason it's had a refit, a Neo-Constitution class refit. For some reason this quasi-military high-tech super science organization has taken one of their top-line ships and has refitted it to look like a ship from 150 years prior... Which I just find weird, like, why, even if they don't have money, this is still effectively, like, trillions of dollars of investment and time and resources. So why on earth would you take a modern mainline battleship and then make it look like an old wooden sailing vessel from 150 years ago? I don't know, I, f I find that a little... For nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no... What I, I thought was funny is since it's been so long since I've actually really sat down and watched any of these uh, Star Trek Picard episodes is that the nostalgia I was getting was like, oh, hey, look, it's Raffi. You know, and like, uh, like we're, 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 she's on uh, Dios' uh, ship, but we, you know, where, where is Rios? You know, uh, kind of yeah, more I stuff. Have no look, idea what you're seven, seven of Nine is still angry and kind of not Seven of Nine anymore. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, look, uh, Picard's awkward Irish 
secretary, lover, yes. maid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> Um, I did. I I appreciate some of the casting, um, that of of additional people that aren't part of the reunion. Mm-hmm. And I won't say who they are for spoiler reasons. Oh, go ahead and spoil it. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. It's also we're, we're, nerds love speculation. Apparently, Deanna Troy has another son. I guess this could conceivably be a Wesley in a new body. But I'm thinking that she's just had another kid at some point in the intervening yeah. years. Yeah. So. That's what I was thinking. And apparently. So that's a good. Uh, that's a good um, casting choice, I think. And I somehow think. she managed to have an um, English child because he's got an accent. Yeah. 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 Couldn't quite mm-hmm. place it. He, he does sound a little posh. Yeah. And and Beverly doesn't. So I guess she um, she slept with a Britishman. And and Todd Stashwick as the other captain, Captain Shaw, the mean captain. Oh God, that dude's such. Um, a, I really just every time he started talking, I'm like, please Riker, just please just punch this guy. That's an interesting casting choice. So yeah, like some of that, yeah. I'm like, I'm encouraged by things like that. Yeah. I'm a little discouraged by things like the the scene where what's your name is talking to the computer, that just confused the crap out of me. Yeah, yeah. Without any context, it looks like Raffi's kind of on the edge of doing some Section Thirty One kind of stuff, maybe, or Starfleet intelligence. I don't. I just I wanted more context for that, and it was weird. Some sort of space terrorist is using quantum tunneling technology as a weapon to recreate that uh, phenom- phenomenon that was going on in Thor Two: The Dark World, where like discs mm. would appear in the yeah, sky, yeah. And, and a building could fall through it, and then the building falls through the other portal but like you know we make <laughs> yeah. bombs that could destroy whole cities already no, they were like off. like star like star trek <laughs> like they the genesis device like they could blow up whole planets i don't really know why they need a thing that could just teleport one building and why that's supposed to be so because scary they, they want to target the one building yeah i feel like that's so. kind of like it's a it's like the the sticks and uh, stargate uh they're, they're they're more of an intimidation weapon but they're not actually really an effective weapon of war i don't know uh, and there's also some stuff with these aliens that are harassing Beverly with that they, yes. the show ended off with their ship, yeah. which looked an awful lot like one of those silent star fighters to me. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I don't know the way the aliens were clicking. Maybe are, are they the aliens from that like episode of TNG that had been like, uh, teleporting people away in their sleep to experiment on them and stuff. Cause they, they clicked like that <laughs> kind of stuff. So I don't know, but, uh, uh, Overall, I mean, I I would keep watching it. I don't know how long they're going to... I mean, is this the whole season, or is this going to get wrapped up next episode? No. And then what? You know? But so far, um, I'm interested, and I like what they're doing mostly, and enough to want to tune in again. Yeah, I certainly want to continue with it for a change, and it, I don't feel like I'm going to make myself do it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... It doesn't make me want to go back and catch up on all the Picards. No. You know? I don't. I, the, the way they were putting stuff in, like the part of the reason why that scene with uh, with, with Rafi that you thought was so kind of clumsy was because they were kind of using it as a way to re-catch up new viewers on who the hell this lady is yeah. without doing a bunch of awkward exposition. Right. Which is just, it's going to be clumsy no matter what you do, but it's still probably better than five minutes of just repetitive dialogue telling you stuff you know. Right. But, uh... Yeah, that was fine for that. I just didn't understand who she was talking to or what was happening. <laughs> but, uh, like, no sign of Moriarty yet, no sign of uh, Lore yet. Uh, there's still, like, you know, they've mentioned LaForge, but Jordy LaForge himself hasn't been in it, even though they did show his daughter. Uh, they, no Wharf yet, so, like, there's still plenty of characters to pop up and be teased uh, throughout the season. <laughs> so, um... I guess that's about it. Uh, uh, should they stay waspinated? Oh, definitely. All right. Gotta stay waspinated. All right, and, and all the, the other stuff. Until next time, stay next time.